Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to Making Beats with Piano Tech and Real Guitar. Uh, before I start, I just want to say thanks for being patient with this video. I know there were some troubles, you know, getting up on YouTube, you know, having black screens and, uh, you know, not being able to watch the whole thing. So, yeah, I am redoing it for you guys because uh, there's just way too much technicalities and I can't really find the reason why it's not working. So, let's get on with it now. This time, hopefully, it works. So, let me show you my elements here. I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, real guitar, real LPC, and... Uh, Piano Tech. I also have other uh, VSTs here like Addictive Drums. I am using that as well as I am using some Wave Arts Track Plug and using some Master Verb. So those are some other tools but our main focus today is Piano Tech and Real Guitar. So I have some guitars here Right, this is just a one end, two end thing happening with my guitars and probably wondering how am I getting those body smacks. So let me show you now. Essentially, my body smack is on another, uh, I guess, another channel here. And what I'm doing is I'm hitting C, my C3, and uh, I'm using it as a key switch. So if I hold that down, all my other keys turn into a body smack. So let me give you an example here on my MIDI keyboard. So I'm holding down C3. Now whatever I click turns into body specs. So there's a whole bunch of cool noises and cool sounds, uh, you know, for you to use in order to keep in time with maybe an acoustic uh, acoustic pattern, right? So in this case, I'm using this, and I'm also using that, right? So those are my body smacks, it's really straightforward. If I let go of my C3, everything else turns into your regular guitar sound. Right? If I hold it down again, everything else changes again and you can do some cool, cool stuff with it. That's one of my elements. Um, I also have here, this is uh, my real guitar. Now there's a whole bunch of things happening in this one. There's a whole bunch of complications here. I have a slide happening. Um, I also have some, I believe some mutes in there. Oh, just I just have slides. Sorry, I just have slides in this one. So, um, when a note is too close to each other, for instance, those two notes, uh, when I play them, they end up sliding to each other instead. So it gives a cool feel there right cool huh so in real guitar the way I set that up was if you go down to the bottom here of my effects switches and stuff like that I have slide you can also change it to hammer-ons the H O if you want to just for you know other effects right and or you can have it off and then you know just it actually just plays the note as is right and uh, yeah so there's some cool things there Right, so I have that going. Those are one of my. That's uh, one of my elements there. Let's go into another element here. Um, real LPC, right? And there's a whole bunch of stuff happening here. Now to get it to sound pretty realistic like that takes a little a little time. This is the first little thing that's happening here. You can hear that it's bending up. Now the way that I have it set up is that the velocity, any any velocity that's higher than, let me check here, that's higher than 80, as you can see right here, uh, will bend up uh, a whole tone, right? So from here, if I, if I have it, you know, less than the 80, whatever the velocity is over here, it turns into something else, right? Now if I have it less than, I think 50, let me see here, yep, I have 50 here, I the note turns into a bridge mute. So as you can see over here, I have some low notes that are low velocity, so if I press play, you hear that? You get that realistic, you know, bridge mute. All 
right? So that's happening there. Uh, bridge mutes and bends to give that country feel. It's really nice. Um, you know, it sounds very realistic. Okay, let's go into my next element here. Um, I have piano tech. Now this is really cool. This is really nice. Right, so right now I'm using a Rhodes sound, uh, the R1 Tremelo. I modified it a bit just to get the velocities a little lower. Um, let me show you here. You can go into this little menu here. Then you go into the Rhodey R1. Well, under electric pianos, Rhodey R1, and then the R1 Tremelo. So it's pretty straightforward there. And, uh, you know, having some quicker chords in here makes uh, a little more movement in my song. Especially if we're being a little bit slower, this is a little different. I'm, you know, trying something new. Um, let's see here. Let's go into my next element. We have more piano tech stuff. It's more staccato stuff going on. And yep, it's a clavinet on Ottawa. So let me show you that. There you go. You just go into your drop down menu. You go into the electric pianos category, clavinet, and the CL1. Ottawa and I left that natural so that's the exact preset that comes with it um, when you purchase the add-ons and whatnot all right um, let's see here so that's pretty much all my elements there um, let me show you a kind of uh, progression I would uh, start off with I would I guess you know go up with straight acoustic guitar right and then I would uh, lead in the second guitar right just to have a little bit of progression and then move on to the piano tech and you know electric guitar stuff right moving on to that just before a chorus kind of thing or maybe you can even use that as a chorus you know it doesn't really matter how you set it up I just wanted to show you the you know possibilities Piano tech and you know real guitar. I think adding some drums in here, maybe for a hook or for the chorus. You never know. Whatever it feels right, and then you know loop all that over again. And you know that's pretty much it, right? First chorus, maybe a hook, and uh, you can go into a bridge and uh, play some solos for each instrument or something like that. But that's basically it for this making beats. I'm sorry this took so long to get started and whatnot. But I um, hope you enjoyed the piano tech and real guitar session. If you have any questions on, on other things that I did in this video, uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'll answer them you know, fairly soon. And uh, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.